It's the very image of a luxurious modern cruise ship. Boasting its own theater, casino and swimming pools, the Costa Concordia is also fitted with the latest navigation equipment. That's why experts cannot understand why it veered off course and hit a rock. The ships are very sophisticated. This vessel is only five years old, built to the highest international standards, uh, crewed by Italian officers, as I understand, that are very familiar with this, this coastline uh, and this route. Uh, and so something like that simply should, shouldn't happen. So how did it all unfold? 7 p.m. Friday, the Costa Concordia left the port of Civitavecchia and set sail up the coast of Italy on the same route she travels every week. At 9.45, passengers say they hear a loud crash, probably the ship hitting the rock. 45 minutes later, the alarm goes off. The crew head for shallow water and somewhere safe for passengers to disembark, but the ship suddenly tilts near the island of Giglio, making it hard to launch lifeboats. It wasn't until the early hours of Saturday morning that most of the passengers were safe. By sunrise, it was lying on its side. The investigation will now concentrate on whether human error, technical problems or a combination of the two caused this accident. Modern ships are fitted with a black box similar to those used in airplanes. It records conversations on the bridge as well as technical data and will hold many clues. Ship safety is tightly regulated, but cruise liners have doubled in size over the past 10 years. One union says that as we approach the anniversary of the Titanic disaster, the new mega ships could be putting safety at risk. We need a rethink not only on the construction and the build of these ships and their design, because let's face it, they are, the reality is they are designed for revenue generation and comfort. They are not being designed for safety. Record numbers of people in the UK took a cruise last year. Organisers stress this kind of accident is rare, but they'll be watching very closely to see just why the Costa Concordia tipped over so quickly. Richard Westcott, BBC News.